Hola. Buenos dias. Mike. Which means it's time for another camp trip. So we're going out today to Tarifa uh, with the family. We're going camping in Spain. Now, uh, you can't actually wild camp in Spain. It's illegal. They have, oh yeah, you like, most of the time the weather that we had last year that caused the hill fires in the northwest and over the Yorkshire Dales and, and the Peak District so you can't really have a fire and they really do discourage it it's actually an arrestable offence out here so we're going to a normal campsite today so count yourselves lucky you guys in the UK because the Spanish lot can't walk camp without the fear of getting arrested in the UK it's just a civil offence and they normally just move you on they're usually quite nice about it. Over here, no, you get arrested and prosecuted because it's highly dangerous. You can cause massive forest fires. It's devastating to the environment um, because people just can't be trusted with fire safety and camping. It's illegal, which I'm sure they do in the UK if we get more of the same of like the wildfires we had last year caused by ramblers and unfortunately idiots up on the tops having barbecues carelessly. So these are the things that can kind of happen, so like I say, in Spain they've just gone, no, it's illegal. Uh, so we're going to an actual campsite today, a uh, two day camp out hopefully, um, but it doesn't mean because we're at a normal campsite with regular camping that, you know, you can't still practice your skills, or your skills are still there, the skills are still the same. I don't know much of the area that we're going to and I don't know the area that we're going camping at so I'm quite interested to see what we find today and bring you guys along with the journey. quarter past five we're just set, throwing up the tent it is about 29 30 between 29 and 35 degrees at the moment i don't know the exact temperature but we're just setting up now i'll walk you up to the tent in a moment and i'll show you our little setup the tarp isn't set up and neither is my hammock yet but we have got a little uh, tent just for the camping because again we've fancied a tent well everything's set up uh, i'll show you around so I've got Old Faithful, the hammock and the tarp up. Behind that is our tent. And behind that is Don, Adam and the family's tent. Way! This is where we are. Well, I have, uh, we've set everything up. We're now just chilling out. Got my hammock, which means I'm comfy. Um, set up a tarp on a big frame here, so it's wide and we've got lots of cover for everybody if we all want to sit under it later on. I'll just move my hammock out of the way. And uh, we'll see uh, what happens during the day. Everyone's going to go down to the beach shortly. I think I'm going to go tomorrow. I kind of fancy chilling out for a bit today and just relaxing. Well, everyone's gone for a wander and I kind of just wanted to chill in the hammock for a bit, swaying and relaxing. Now, what I wanted to talk about real quick was just the difference in camping here to say camping in the UK. Like camping in the UK, it can get quite warm, but out here we're looking currently about 30 odd degrees, 32 degrees, I think we are currently. Um, big big thing out here is to keep hydrated the sun is absolutely killer so like i say we're on a normal campsite so water's not an issue i don't have to filter anything which makes it a very easy camp for me it's uh, very relaxed it just probably means more hammock time more relaxing time and tonight we we're gonna have a chili we're gonna cook a, it's purely vegan chili um with gluten-free pasta you know, it doesn't always have to be meat. 
Um, at the same time, we're probably going to sit down with the girls later on, Gemma's nieces, and we're probably going to play some Dungeons and Dragons while we're out camping. We figured that would be a great way. We already started the campaign earlier um, in the week. We started it on like Tuesday, Wednesday. We're now on Friday. So we started this earlier in the week. So we've decided since we've now all got time to just sit down together later on tonight, D&D might be a little thing just while we're relaxing and while everyone's sitting around just chilling out. And that way, you know, the girls get to play Dungeons & Dragons, I get to play D&D, Gemma gets to play D&D, and the girls get to enjoy it. Uh, and it's just something nice and interesting, it's something where you don't need more, really, than pen and paper to go out and do this kind of adventure. Um, so, you know, it's nice to have something like that in the woods, especially for entertaining, you know, kids who, what, we've got like 14... 12 and 6 today actually uh, 14 12 and 6 so uh, yeah we basically we've got the girls with us so it'd just be nice for them to have something to do while they're out here camping because as you can probably imagine technology nowadays a lot of people if they don't have the phone they don't know what to do with it so we're gonna um, they've just all gone to the beach to go and have a look at that I'll be going tomorrow um, I'm hoping to get some flint so I can maybe do some flint napping but I don't know I'm not sure on the kind of rocks and everything we've got. The ground here, as you can probably see, it's all uh, pine noodles. It's a pine wooded area that's all been planted. They've all been planted out in rows and stuff. Uh, they grow quite well here. And, you know, this is kind of the ground. So you can understand why in areas like this fire would be so easy i mean everybody knows in the uk how easily this stuff can catch fire and how it can burn under the ground and you know just it can absolutely decimate this area if not treated properly um so we're just gonna you know have to have a barbecue and we've got a little camping stove that we're gonna cook on which is just kind of par for the course but i'm sure you can completely understand with this, I mean, this is the ground underfoot. I bet you've never seen ground like that in the UK. I can literally sweep it back and there is dirt. You see? So this is the kind of what we're dealing with here in in Spain. Um, this ground would be really, really flammable. I'd even be, you know, scared of flicking my ash. That's why I've got a cam there so I can put my cigarette butts in it and flick my ash into it because it's a really, really dangerous area out here for things like fires and they will spread fast well this is honestly a first for mike i'm out in spain chilling under a tarp it's red hot and i am in my hammock really enjoying life now normally because i come wild camping a lot i end up chopping wood doing projects now uh, i've got a project lined up that i want to try and do tomorrow and i'm going to bring you guys with me um, but for now, everyone's gone for a walk, it's nice and quiet, we're not doing tea yet, so I'm going to read Dan Abnett's The Founding, uh, Gaunt's Ghosts Omnibus, um, great book, really into it, so I'm going to carry on reading, and I will see you in a bit. No wonder I'm tired. Yeah, I was going to say, so it's Wait, quarter past chat. one in the morning. We're all sat around. Say hello, everybody. Hi. Hola. Hey. <laughs> and we're all just sat around. We've just had a game of uh, Trivial Pursuit, Spanish edition. And we're just kind of having a drink. And, and we won. Can I just and say we we're won. going a little bit up yeah. market with the cactus line. We go to Casa. <laughs> um, only a few euros. Open it up, turn it on and off. A really nice little gift. However, it does smash very easily. <laughs> as we found out. Wait, are, you allowed, are you allowed to promote stuff from Casa? And I've got hey, it might get a in, um... can of skull. Skull, 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 sk
Now, um, went to sleep, climbed in the tent, and it was like climbing into an oven. It was roast. It's like sitting in the tent in the UK in the middle of summer, in the sunshine, only it was two in the morning. It was ridiculous. There was no cooling down. There wasn't even a breeze. It was red out last night. So sleeping was a little bit difficult. Um, it was hard to nod off to in that kind of heat. But again, we were talking about the challenges that you face out here. Like, even though it's a family site, you've got to stay hydrated. You really don't realise how much water you lose just by sweating because it is that hot. Um, today, I think we're going to go down to the beach. We're going to do a bit of exploring. Um, so, Adam's here. He's behind us. Hello. So we're going to do a f um, barbecue this morning to cook sausages. We're going to have some uh, veggie sausages. Now, if you look here what we've done, because of the type of ground we're on, we've brushed an area back so that we can have the barbecue on it. Cleared it of all the needles so that it's relatively safe, or as safe as we can make it at the moment. Now, obviously, you've just got to keep an eye on, because you do not want to set fire to any of this. It will go up. It's actually a really good angle. Well, so what happened, we, we got there, went to our hotel, um, yeah. went for a meal, and then went to the show. Yeah. And then I said, should we go back to the hotel where we're going to? We said, yeah, we're So we went to the bar, had one drink. We were quite knackered. So, um, we just said, uh, I said, what do you want to do? Said, go back to the yeah. And that, so I thought he'd been a good walk in the world, he did yeah. dive and stuff, but he didn't, and I, and, you know, he said, I thought he'd been a good walk in the I said, no, I really thought we were, I said, perfect. So we walked into the hotel, and the bar was on my left, and I said, do you want to just go back to the room, do you want to have a beer? He said, well, why don't we go in the bar, have a beer, take me back to the room, yeah. to do it like that. I said, oh, yeah, because I'm nothing. So we walked up to the bar, and he stood at the bar, I stood behind him, and then I just tapped him, and um, said, Adam, he said, yeah, I said, so then Steve I bet that was quite drink. a reunion as well. Yeah, so he bought our drinks all night and caught me and fly and I'll stop that minute because mm. um, so Well, here we go. We're having a wander to the beach. So we're gonna bring you along as we go. Some gorgeous plants. All along here. Adventure Park. Ooh, cool. Obstacles and stuff. That's ace. Yeah. It is huge. Well, I'm at the beach. Oh, sorry. Yeah, well, I'm at the beach. We're having a beach day. And the beach is freaking nice. It's busy. I mean, it is really busy. But it's not a problem. Like, the beach is that big that it really doesn't make a difference. It is massive. I'll show you around in a second. There's Don, Adam and the kids playing. There's Gemma. Here's the mountain. I really like them hills in the background. They are gorgeous. Sea is absolutely beautiful. There are people swimming out there. Let's see if we can zoom in on them. Let's see how good this camera is. There they are. That's how far away they are. Wow. It's currently there's our tent. It's currently about half one in the morning. We are. Uh, we've just finished the game of D&D &D, maybe 10, 20 minutes ago. There's a group of people still up sitting, chatting and partying. There's a group all the way over there. It's such a gorgeous campsite. I'm just sat in a little chair, leaning against a tree, having my last cigarette before bed. 
Well, Jabber and Adam have beer. Oh, I have had a beer tonight. I have had another can of skull. Night two with the skull. Look, look at that, Mike on real beer. It's very rare. But, you know, when in Rome, <coughs> or Spain in this case, and now. Sat with Old Faithful now, enjoying a nice relaxing can of monster before bed. A counterintuitive, I hear you scream. However, I can still sleep after having a can, so suck it! And now it's just filming time. Here we go, sat on the Oh, it's a bit busy, babe. It's it's been a really good weekend, like I say, it's still warm, I had a shower before, came back and just stood around in my swim shorts for like three hours because it was so warm that I was just roasting. I was drying about a minute and a half, ridiculous, like my skin was dry, but obviously my shorts were wet for about an hour. Um, got changed, got into something comfy. It's a bit colder tonight than it was yesterday, but not by much and... You know, not enough for it to be like, oh, it's cold, it's 19 degrees. It's not it's still in the mid-20s. It's just been in the mid-30s all day, you know what I mean? Uh, it's a slight difference in temperature. Uh, as opposed to the UK, I'm finding it very difficult, if I'm honest with you. I'm very hot. Um, there's a lot more keeping hydrated, keeping covered and shaded, making sure you don't get some burn. I mean, I've burnt my shoulders a bit because we had a beach day today. Um... But, you know, in general, in terms of your camping experience, not a lot changes. Food, water, it's just water becomes your priority. The main three, food, water and shelter, just switch about a bit. Water becomes your highest priority when you're in something like this. Shelter is obviously a second. Food's kind of third, because um, you really need that water. Your body is losing so much. So your kind of survival triangle that you get, um, well, that's the point of shelter. Um, Jim was just saying you really need that shade, but keeping hydrated keeps you going. Um, you, you know, after you've got hydration side, you then just make sure you've got a shelter, you've got cover, something for you to sit under in the dark, and then come, you know, early evening, you sit down, you eat, much like you would on a normal camp. So it's just the the, the priorities and the the triangle, uh, the safety triangle just shifts around a little bit, so one's at the top, one's second and one's third. Uh, and I think that moves around with every every situation, you know, shelter. When we were up on the mountain we found that it was shelter, water, then food. Um, food obviously kept you the warmest, but because of the time we were there, it moved around to being you know, shelter was your main priority. Once you're out of the snow, then you can get water. Once you've got water, then you can start food. And fire, obviously, to cook all that. Now, if you've got a camping stove, you've kind of got ready fire available. If, like, when we were on the mountain, you had, um, uh, we had them logs for that we were using for camping a weekend, which we didn't end up using. We used to keep warm and cook our food while we were, you know, stuck on the side of a mountain. Uh, here it's been we've lit the stove a couple of times just to boil some water for brews and ready meals and stuff like that uh, pot noodles you know things um, homemade curry uh, homemade chilies to do the pastas and stuff like that and I've also found the little hobo stove stand for your pathfinder set it's absolutely fantastic as a pasta strainer it's so good Anyway, I'm going to finish the cigarette, hang out with Gemma a little bit more. Here's Gemma. And here's Adam on his way back in. And we're going to chill out. Probably going to go and get some sleep very soon. Hello.